It was a hot start to the weekend with highs in the 90s for most areas, including 98 degrees in Topeka, which shattered the record previously of 92 from 1916. And uh, we are going to be awfully close to tying a record high for today as well. Sunny skies, low to mid 90s, wind gusts near 25, 30 miles per hour. The record in Topeka today is 94 from 1955, so we'll keep an eye on that. We're also going to be keeping a very close eye on the risk for storms that uh, have a pretty good chance of becoming severe if we have storms that's going to be the big weather story that's going to be the big key because it's very possible all the storms stay up in southeastern nebraska it's going to depend on where the front is but the ingredients will be there that if we do have storms they will likely become severe in our area it's just a matter of if we do have severe weather. So this will be something that we'll be keeping a very close eye on through the evening hours. Here's uh, one of our computer models not much not much at all for tonight. Hardly anything. Here's another short-term computer model. Maybe skirting Highway 30, Highway 36, but again, the heavier rainfall staying up to our north. Nothing. Here's the European model. Showing some rain even as early as this afternoon. And then we'll continue with a few storms in our area tonight into early tomorrow morning. We may get a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon as well, south and east of the Turnpike. And then we'll keep an eye on late Tuesday, mainly for our southern communities. And so that's the reason why uh, we have these marginal risk for the severe weather outlook for tomorrow and Tuesday. If there is going to be storms in those areas. Now, overall... I think the higher opportunity for rain is going to be for the second half of the work week. The severe weather threat will obviously continue to keep an eye on. It doesn't look high at this time, but the impacts and ingredients necessary for severe weather will be highest tonight. But again, are we going to get storms? That's the big question. We may not have anything at all, but if we do, it's going to be something that we'll have to keep a very close eye on because all hazards are in play. In the meantime, how much rain can we get? The European through next Sunday has some isolated heavy amounts of rainfall, especially south of I-70, more than two inches in Emporia. The GFS, a lot more widespread heavy rain. So that's also something we'll have to focus on. Again, we're taking this on a day-by-day -day basis with this weather pattern. No, no doubt about it, today will be our hottest day for the next eight days. And temperatures will gradually cool down for the work week still in the mid to upper 80s for most areas Monday and Tuesday would not be surprised if we did have some 90 degree temperatures Monday and then with increasing chances for rain towards the second half of the work week closer to around 80 degrees and lows around 60 so really not looking at much in the way of significant cool downs or warm ups after today be but uh, the temperatures will be based on how much clouds we have how much rain we have I'm still not seeing any day or night that will be an all-day washout or all-night washout. Rain will be scattered in nature, but we'll be keeping an eye on it. Have a great day and stay cool.